Hi, good afternoon. Sally Taylor here, a row crop extension specialist, Virginia Tech. And I'm standing in a field of cotton in a project sponsored by the Virginia Cotton Board. And what we're doing in this field is we have the non-BT, two gene, and three gene cotton that is sprayed and not sprayed with Prevathon. And we do this for you every year to measure, one, um, the need to spray two gene cotton, and uh, two, the value you get um, from your, your insecticide investments. There isn't a lot to see here yet. Um, this is the first week that our flight is really picked up in numbers. So I wanted to show you how I scout for bollworm eggs and what the eggs look like. In Virginia, our threshold is 25 eggs per 100 locations. And the locations that I want you to look at are the terminals of the plant and the leaves that you see at bloom level. So just to focus in, and I'm sorry, the macro on this camera is not the best. Um, this uh, round white thing by my thumb is a bullworm egg. So you wanna get that, get that shape, get that size, get that image in your head. Hopefully you can find one, but not a lot, because once you see one, your search pattern and your ability to find them really increases. And I'll go to a plant, look in the terminal. I say terminal, I mean all of these structures here at the top. If the leaves are curled up, I'll, I'll peek under them a little bit. I usually don't find a lot on the bottom. I just do it out of habit. And then when I talk about what's in the canopy, I'll go down to the level. I see some blooms and look on a leaf surface. And I intentionally picked a leaf surface with an egg. So don't ignore the leaves that are in the canopy, especially at the level, the blooms. These are attractive sites for moss. And I will pick up again when we have some larva to show you. Have a great day. Hello, Sally Taylor, row crop entomologist, Virginia Tech. This is our second bollworm scouting video. And I'm looking for larva in this field. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find them because this is non-BT cotton. This project is sponsored by Cotton Incorporated so the, through the Southeastern Row Crop Entomology Working Group. And that includes um, us here in Virginia, all the way down through to Florida and over to Alabama. And we are a group that is looking at all insects that affect cotton in the Southeast. We have this study designed to test bollworm impact based on planting dates. We have cotton planted end of April mid-May and end of May, and we really don't know the effect of these kind of cultural practices on bollworm because we did not have bollworm problems in cotton prior to insecticides. So I know that sounds really strange, and the reason that is is because we were spraying so many insecticides to kill boll weevil at one point in time that when those stopped, we said, hey, what are all these worms? Anyway, not to harp too much on that, the first clue that I see that, that something's not going right in this field is there are bowls and squares on the ground, and there could be several reasons for that, and not necessarily all insect related, but that's the first sign that I'm like, hey, uh, something's not right, I'm going to start looking on these plants. And, then, and another thing you can do is walk up, pick up the bowl, and poke around. And we had some, I picked this one up on purpose because we saw some of this last year. This is wildlife feeding. Uh, I would hate to see a worm that could do this to a bull. And why we have raccoon and deer um, graze on our cotton, it's just that fruit inside has so much moisture that in a drought year, it's, it's a source of, of water for animals. So not a worm, but beside it, is definitely a worm. You can see the frass poking out of the hole. You can see the hole where it went in. Sometimes you'll see a bowl that's an entirely beautiful. Always look here at the bottom under the bracts. A lot of times that's where they go in. Sometimes you'll end up poking your thumb through a lot of poop, but it happens. So when I see that, and I, I see them on the ground, I know they're here, but I, I don't want to pay too much attention to what's on the ground because I could really over dramatize, dramatize the situation where I'm, it's really not that bad. So what I'll do is go in and look at usually a hundred bowls, maybe four places of the field. I'll run my fingers around them, check behind the bracts, 
And what I don't want to find is more than 6% of those bowls with bollworm injury. Try to check bowls in different parts of the canopy of different sizes. Avoid the really big golf ball ones at the bottom. Let me find one of those. So once it gets much bigger than that, unless it's already damaged by the worm or the worm's already in there, um, this coating is just too tough. So again, Bullworm Scouting 101, please call. Let me know if you have any questions on how to do this. Um, and especially if you're seeing any worms in cotton where you're not expecting them to be. Okay, have a great day.